Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the 142 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So this is Keto on the Couch episode 15. 15 I can't weeks. believe we've been doing this for 15 weeks in a row. I can't believe like how my hair hasn't grown out any longer than it is right now. <laughs> How is that happening? I just think it was funny because when we first did the first one, we were both kind of like, nobody's going to want to watch this. Why are we doing this? And everybody seems to love Keto on the Couch. And we love Keto on the Couch. That's my probably my favorite thing to tape. Yeah, especially considering we can't shut up. So We're so sorry. Like, we just can't. We can't stop. We love talking to each other and talking about what's going on in our lives. We don't have anybody else to talk to, so... We talk to each other and you guys get to witness it. Our children have aged out. They've stopped listening officially. <laughs> Speaking of which, we kind of got a glimpse into that this week. So both of our boys who still live at home are away for four days on a youth trip at the 12 conference over in Bradenton, Florida. Do you have a picture to add to it? Yeah, I'll them? put a picture up the of whole them, group. the whole group that went. They went as leaders. And uh, we got a little glimpse into what it's like to not have children. Yeah, that was crazy. So when they left, and they were so into the whole chaperoning thing, they're taking right. it so, so seriously. Taking pictures of the kids. That like, they're supposed to be they're chaperoning. they're supposed to be watching, like, I've got evidence of you. Yeah, yeah. now they're going to have a little taste of what it's like when a kid just, like, wanders off and you're responsible for them. Like... They'll see why we were so crazy. They also got a little taste of what it means to be responsible because I think a couple of the parents kind of took pictures of them saying, <laughs> right? Didn't, didn't somebody is, take a picture of This is of the Caleb person I'm like, coming this after. This is who I'm after? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so. Should be that way, right? Like, that's how we always felt for chaperones. Yeah. So, but yeah, but it was just me and you, kid. Yeah. So we, it, it's been a fun week, though. It we has did been. some things that we haven't done in a while. Like, we went in the pool. Like, every single day. That really got started when Terry and your mom came to visit. Yeah. Because we never use our pool. It's absolutely ridiculous. We, we have a pool pump that we run all the time, and I put chlorine in it. It's crazy. And we, we usually end up using it for a couple weeks out of the summer, and we're like, oh, we're too busy to go in there. And, and there's no way I'm going in that pool during the winter. Because it gets too cold? It's too cold for me. I mean, the water will be like 75 degrees. I'm like, no way am I going in that pool. But it's plenty hot, and it has been plenty hot. Yeah. And I think, too, sometimes you think, like, you have to be in the pool for hours and hours. Like, it needs to be a pool day. And it's like, no, you can just go in it for, like, a, like an hour or so or 30 minutes even and just cool off. Yeah, and we have this giant raft. That literally takes up like half the pool. And I mean, our pool, it's not huge, but it's big for a South Florida pool. It is. Because it's, I think it's like 30 feet by like 15 feet wide, which is pretty big for most of the homes down here. But that's how they used to build them, like a big giant Beverly Hillbillies cement pond. Yeah. And that's so this thing is. is like literally half of the pool, like going across. And we literally just play like water, we have water Uno cards and we're playing like water Uno. That is the greatest game. Like if you are entertaining kids or grandkids and you're like looking for something to do in the pool, like you can only play Marco Polo for so long, yeah. right? Before you're like, forget it. I don't care where you are. I'm not even looking for you anymore. Or fish out of water. Like, or what is that shark? We played that for a long time, but like. Well, we didn't play that. Well, we didn't play, but I mean the kids and me would play it for a long time. But yeah. then when I came across Uno for the water, right. greatest game ever. Like I wish they would make more games that are like these plastic cards that you could use and take into the pool. And one time we lost electricity for a couple days during hurricane season and Uno Splash, I think it's called, yeah. was very helpful because we had to basically live outside. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we, we learned that we really do like each other this week. Yay! So considering it's it's down to us, we're starting to get that glimpse of the empty nest syndrome, but... 
So it was fun. I thought that we would just like, I don't know, do vacation-y stuff, but we got to to tape and we we love it. Like it feels yep. like an enjoyable vacation every day that we get to make these videos. Yeah, we filmed videos. So something kind of cool happened this week. You got a bicycle. Yeah, I got a bicycle this Copycat. week. Copycat. Finally. You inspired me. Is that what you call it? Yes. <laughs> Copycat. So I've been looking for a bicycle for a little while. And I kept looking, like, in all the different Walmarts, and they don't have anything in stock for me. Like, everything was, like, 26-inch, or it was really garbage, or... What size were you looking for? Um, Like, 29-inch wheels and an 18-inch frame. Wow. And most of the ones that they sell in Walmart, like, were... They're, like, a one-size-fits-all. Oh. So, they just didn't fit me right. And they had a very, very limited selection. A lot of ones that were in stock were garbage. Like, you have to go online to buy them. And yeah. it was the same thing with Target. Target had nothing. It had almost all female bikes or, I was gonna say, like, I kid bikes. I think they stock a lot for children, right. mostly. And then, like, a cruiser or two for me. And I had seen one on Walmart.com that I liked. And then, of course, it sold out. But it turns out that, like, buy, if you, like, even, like, Dick's Sporting Goods... I looked online for Dick's Sporting Goods, and they're like, okay, if you buy the bicycle, if you bring it home, if you put it together, it's no longer returnable. What? And people said the same thing, like, where they had issues with buying on Amazon. So I'm like, I really don't want to buy a bicycle that I didn't get a chance to sit on. Right. And like, you know, so, like, I, I kind of tossed out the window buying something online. Okay. And, you know, even from, like, Walmart, because they people, like, I looked online, they're like, the stores gave them a hard time about trying to return it if it was broken and that kind of stuff. So... I ended up saying, like, I'm going to look on OfferUp. Maybe I can find something. We find a lot of cool stuff on OfferUp. I love OfferUp. Do you guys use OfferUp? Let us know down below. Like, offer or what's the other one? Let go. Let go. You know, for some reason, I have better success with OfferUp. And even though, like, you'll see people, like, post the same thing on both. I know I do. Yeah. But I love OfferUp. And that's where I got my pig roaster. Right, I paid like thirty dollars for a three hundred dollar pig roast. You just got to be like up for something random, yeah. Right, just like, kind of go through it. It could be dangerous though. You used to like you were for a while when you first learned about it. We're going through and just like, what else can I buy? What else can I get? You know, like and the only thing network. is, is be careful like where you meet people. Like you know, yeah. make sure you meet people. Like look, our local police department lets you meet there. I usually will meet like in public, like right in the front at the customer service section. Or I go to Walmart because there's a police substation at our Walmart. Yeah. So anyway, I was looking online and there's a guy selling a like almost brand new track bicycle. Wow. He just wanted it gone. He just wanted to get rid of it. And I mean, literally, it's been ridden like one time. Wow. So now I was like, this is an expensive bicycle. I mean, I think the retail price on this bicycle is like $550. You know, but if you're just like ready to ditch something, especially like in the summer when you're cleaning everything out, I've done that. Man, I remember we dumped a um, like a stair climber once that I had really just used as a, a coat hanger for my clothes. Right. And I we dumped it really cheap, so... Makes sense. Yeah, so I asked the guy to like to meet me at a local bike shop because I wanted the bike shop to look over it. That was smart. He sold it for a hundred dollars. A hundred. A hundred dollars. So you paid though for the bike shop to do like whatever. I paid for the bike shop to like do the adjustments and stuff like that, and then I've got like now like lifetime adjustment stuff with them. And then the only thing I did do was. I put on like a little bit better seat that the bike shop recommended. I was going to get like a cushion one and the guy's like, no, no, no. He's like, I'll give you a really good deal if you take this seat off and I'll keep the seat. Because the one that it came with was, I mean, it was a nice seat, but it was a little tiny. Oh my gracious. So like, I'm excited for I you. I was comfortable on it. I, I will say that. But the new gel one that I got is better because it's completely split down the middle. So it kind of like conforms. It still seems very tiny to me. Like it, it. It makes me like if you start like speak in an octave higher. If you start researching, like you're not supposed to have one of those big giant seats like you. I've that, got a big giant seat, a, a so long, I need a big giant seat. Yeah, but <laughs> but on a long ride, that would eventually bother you. That's why Think they. So? That's why one of the reasons why people wear bike shorts. Because yeah. when you wear bike shorts, what happens is it's the way your clothes rub up against you, and you're not supposed to be sitting way back on it. Well, it looks very manly. I mean, I'd say it's also the, the seat comes to the difference with what kind of bicycle you have and where are you sitting and like, what are you trying to do? You're just, I go, I went bike riding with Rachel this week, which was awesome. And she's just kind of like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm just having fun. I mean, it looked like something out of like a 1940s musical. <laughs> I just, I know I've got my, you look like Mary Poppins <laughs> riding down the street. <laughs> I'm just having a, a high old time. Yeah. 
We're like, our bike rides together are more like we're in the vicinity. Like he's lapping me like four times and I'm just enjoying myself. I keep having to stop and then I keep like, circling because I'm like, what happened to her? And I got to make sure she's okay. Now you did get some bike shorts, but there's something wrong with them. There were already a butt in those shorts. So I went on Amazon and they I ordered- They came with a butt. I ordered bike shorts just because like the only thing, I, I don't really wear shorts. Yeah. I have a couple pairs of basketball shorts that I wear like around the house when I'm going to sleep mm -hmm. and I wear jeans. I don't wear regular shorts and I really don't want to get chafed riding a bicycle. Well, and I've gotten some- at the thrift store because I do need them because my thighs are like, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. And when I'm like <laughs> riding my bike, but I didn't really want to do like thrift store bike shorts for you, sir. Like, yeah. I don't know. There was something about them being used and someone else's well, boys being down in there. Well, I found a pair on Amazon and they were like 10 bucks, but they came with padding in them. That's pretty cheap. And I put these things on and I'm like, I feel like I took a dump. <laughs> Your butt was amazing. I feel like if like older gentlemen who are like maybe have lost their butt, like just put those on and now you have a brand new, like, like you know, a new lease on life, like you're a brand new butt. So I will say this, you know, when we went to Publix, mm -hmm. like I was riding behind you. Yeah. And you look good from behind on a bicycle. Get out of here. Yeah, because I mean, you were just wearing like your bikini top. Oh my goodness, should we say that? Well, why not? I mean, you're I'm, just trying to get some sun. I'm trying stuff. to get some sun because I am so like pale white that like it, it really does like screw up our taping even. Now, I, I, I got to clarify, you, she was wearing shorts. Yes. So like you weren't just wearing oh, a bikini no, top. Oh, yeah, like, no, yeah, no. She was wearing a bikini not top. Not naked. Like, and I mean, it wasn't like a string bikini top or no. anything. No. But like you are tiny in the waist. Mm, thank like you. I don't think you realize how tiny well, in the my, waist you are. If my thighs would catch up with my waist, then I would probably be happier. Yeah, but that's what makes you so hot. Like, you know, everybody you know they talk about all the time, like, you know, the Barbie doll figure doesn't exist. You have a Barbie doll figure. Who is this guy? You do, because Who is this? her waist is like this, but then you got the big hips. I mean, but they're not like ridiculous big, but you've got that. 1950s pinup girl shape. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be like red. Well, I'm trying to get some sun so that I'm not yeah, so Yeah, Barbie pale. wasn't white. Yeah, I mean, I'm a ghost. And I'm working myself up from ivory makeup to natural ivory, that's my goal. By the end of summer, I wanna be in the natural ivory cover girl makeup because, yeah. Like hey, I'm just have... glad that you haven't been burning. Ghost makeup. Because well, normally you burn, and she burns in, like, the weirdest areas. Like, we'll go outside all day, and we'll be sitting down, and we'll come home. No burn on her face. No burn on her shoulders. No burn on her arm. She's got to burn, like, on the back of her knee. Yeah, and I'm it's like, a hand. how does that even happen? Like, I'll have my hand burnt. I'm like, how did that happen? Like, you're, the back of your knee wasn't even exposed to the sun, but that got sunburned. Magic. I know. I can't help it. But yeah, that's my goal is to get a little bit of sun. But I think it's, you know, a little bit every day. Yeah. If you go out and you lay out and it's like an hour at a time, you're going to regret that. At least if you're me, you're going to yeah. regret it. Yeah. So the bike riding has been fun together. And mm -hmm. again, like we're trying to figure out like now that we're getting into that more of the empty nest thing and like as you know, Caleb goes, starts off the college next year and it's like, we're going to have more and more alone time together. What do we do? And like, it's been fun. Yeah. And because the kids weren't here, it really helped us with our cut down the ketocon challenge. Yes. Because we kept it simple. We didn't have to we make it really a bunch of extra side dishes and salads for them to make sure that they were getting like a bunch of vegetables and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's for the most part been like a kind of like a boring food thing for what most people would say. Although I enjoyed it. I, mean, I feel we just like, like a blanket of security. It's like hamburger meat, eggs, a little bit of garlic powder in the hamburger meat, salt, right? To me, it's I've it's been tasty. putting just like a tablespoon when I make the hamburger meat. I've been putting like a tablespoon of that, um, the stuff that we got at Sprouts. The, oh, the, not cream cheese, but like the tzatziki? The tzatziki sauce been putting that like just, just, a, just a, a tablespoon or two tablespoons it so it's creamy. a couple of carbs but just 
adds a little bit of flavor to it. That's been really good. We did make ribs one day. Mm -hmm. And like, I, it was so ridiculous because I'm like, okay, we got to make sure we don't go over our macros because everything's got to be right. And I'm putting everything in. And when we, when I did it, I, the ribs meat, it's, you're supposed to go by the edible portion. Okay. Okay. So I literally, I don't know if you noticed when I gave them to you, I pulled all the bones out and then weighed out the ribs, the oh, meat. So I, I knew this it. is the edible portion, but they've slid out so well. It literally was like having a McRib, right? It, it's just, it just pulled them out. And then I put the bones on the side because I know you want to like I was going to say, I thought that the whole reason why you did that was just for me to have bones like. That's romantic in in our love language. Is well, like that's here's why bones you, for you to eat. That's babe. why you got the bones. Yeah. So I, I should still get things. the romance credit for that. Yeah, one. you did. Brand new points. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, and it turned out like one rack of ribs was the perfect amount of calories for each of us. Mm -hmm. And then I subbed in some other stuff for myself, and then we had a little bit of your chicken salad. Yeah, just enough, and then we gave some to my mom. Yep. It was good. I like that. And that, that was pretty much it for our carbs because that was the same day that we made the the um, cinnamon roll mug cake. Man, I could have eaten that. just that one bite, we're like, okay, like we've just consumed 50% of our carbs for the day. We knew to get that out of we the house. We had to get it out of the house like because we made it and then like immediately what, every part that we didn't eat, like get it to your mom's house. Yeah, and it was funny. Um, so we have a mango tree that we planted before we went on keto. I planted it the year before I started keto. And so it has been blooming beautifully, providing tons of fruit. However, we can't eat that. Yep. Super carby. So I um, brought it down to my mom, who's watching the grandkids during the summer. And she was like, thank you so much. Get that out of here. Because like I will eat those mangoes too. So it's kind of funny. We all know what our triggers are and things that we can't have in the house. And she was like, Please take those to church because if they're in my home, the grandkids won't even get them. I'm going to eat them. <laughs> so good to know. And she, I noticed she's starting to use her pool too. Yeah. But it, it almost, it takes some outside influence for you to use your own pool. So did anything else happen this week? What else happened this week? We got a mailbox. Finally. Yes, yeah, we went yes. and got a mailbox. What an ordeal that was. Like yeah. people have been asking like, can I send you stuff? Yeah. And we were like, okay, we need to get a... P.O. Box yeah, I don't want box. to. I don't want to give out my address. Yeah, and um, but it, I thought it would be an easy thing. It was such a pain in the neck, and we didn't want to get a P.O. Box from the post office because then you can't. If you send a UPS or a Federal Express package, they, they won't sign for it or hold it or anything like that. It's like kind of pointless. so you have to go to like the UPS store or the other one that we ended up going to like the pack mail kind of place. And it's like, I did not realize how expensive they are. And you have to pay for like a year. Yeah, and you have to pay for like a year in advance. And, and it was just like, you have to sign your life away to the to the post office. I was like, okay, fine. So yeah, we finally got one. I'll put the address down in the description. It'll also be on our website. Yeah, but that was crazy. Like, I thought that would be just a very simple thing, and it was not. Yeah. Now, we did hear back from a company. Yeah, so we did that... Um, Keto crate the unboxing. The keto crate. And we had that that mug cake, the packaged mug, mug cake. It was like primal we kinda, noms. We were a little harsh on it because yeah. I said it was like ridiculously expensive. Well, we heard and from them. <laughs> so they, they actually did message us. Yeah. And, you know, basically they're like, you know, they still would like us to try the product and that like they're using allulose and, you know, most people don't have allulose, which I agree with all of that. Absolutely. And so what she said to it was our big question was like the nutrition on it. Yes. And the fact that the nutrition label, I don't remember how much the nutrition label was on it, but there was a, we had a big question of, well, is that including the egg and the butter? Because if it's not, that label. You're going to have like, you, an, 800 like calorie an 800 calorie mug, mug cake. cake. So she actually messages to say, no, that label includes the egg and the butter. And so I basically told her that like, I'd like to make a suggestion to her. She said it's her and her husband and they're a startup company. Yeah. And um, I said, I'd like to make a suggestion like the next time you make new packaging, either put in there this is like you know where it includes the ingredients that you're adding or be like like you know those old pancake mix boxes where yeah. you have this is the calories for the dry mix and this is how much it is when you prepared. add in the, uh, prepared you know because some people may prepare it differently me 
a lot of times I get something like that. Like even like my mug cakes where most people are using butter, I want to switch to coconut oil because I want the MCTs and stuff from the coconut oil. I think it makes it a little bit fattier. I like the taste of it better when I use that over butter. And you may have somebody who like will buy that and you're including the nutrition with butter, but they may use coconut oil because they don't want to do dairy or something yep, like that. Yeah, absolutely. So, so she said that they are going to do that. And she said they have some other flavors too, which are really good that aren't quite as easy to make at home. So she's going to send them send them to us. Yeah. So we're going to hold off reviewing that until I get the other ones from her. Because, yeah. you know, I did tell her, like the bottom line is that chocolate mug cake is super easy to make. Yeah. You know, now I did notice in the comment section, a couple of our subscribers had tried it and said it was really good. Well, so we're definitely not closed minded folks. I'm not closed minded. So, I just said it was expensive. Yeah. And, we know, just worry about the And price I understand point. that there is a need that not everybody can cook, that a lot of people are like Rachel and can't cook. <laughs> I'm getting better. Or they just want something easy. Yep. And so I can appreciate that. There are still keto products now that I know that I could make, but I just buy. Yeah. You know, like even like a lot of bars and stuff like that. But it's just easier sometimes. But if the th if the price isn't like ridiculously more than it costs me to make, you know, even down to like those Stoka bars. I, I was mean, just thinking Stoka bars. The Stoka bars. bars are like, they come out to be like two fifty a bar. The copycat I recipe. I can make them, but... It probably cost me a dollar fifty to a dollar seventy five to make them. By the time I'm all done, you, if I'm using really good ingredients and good nuts and stuff like mm -hmm. that, um, so sometimes I just want to buy it yeah. because it's just I don't feel like pulling out the oven and making it and everything else. Sometimes I make it. Sometimes Do you I pull don't. out the oven? Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so what else? Anything else? I'd like to see who our subscriber of the week is. Oh, subscriber of the week. Is okay, so we're going to do comments. No, I guess not. Okay, so our subscriber of the week actually is coming from our email because this person doesn't have Facebook. Yeah. Okay, so it is 10 Carb Kim. 10 Carb Kim. Hello. So 10 Carb Kim. Now, she didn't share a big story. Mm -hmm. She basically just sent us photos. Yes. And... Um, she does, by the way, eat. So she did say, these are my photos showing halfway point. I'm going to put them up right now. These are my photos showing my halfway point eating only 10 carbs most days. Wow. So she eats 10 total carbs most days between September 1st, 2018 and May 12, 2019. Amazing. And she had also sent a message us somewhere, I think on uh, somewhere on one of the comments mm -hmm. where she allows herself like us, like one day a week where it goes from 10 total carbs to 10 net carbs. So she can have like a keto fit bar or some kind of a dessert. Yeah. Something to look forward to. Yep. So she's, she looks incredible. She's lost 95 pounds so far. Amazing. And her HA1C is down to 6.5. Wow. And that it, it is, is awesome. Like a huge difference. Yes. So, like, congratulations. So beautiful. Kim. Congratulations, Miss 10 Carb Kim. So, I love it. Are you ready to do some comments? Always. Always. Okay. Are you able to do some comments? Okay, you ready? Yes. So the first one is from Gary Seppa. Hi, Gary. Um, he said, it's gross when people eat in line while they're waiting. Yes, that is my absolute pet peeve. I can't stand that. It, and then worse is that person who like tries talking to you while they're eating. Yes. Like, hey, have you been here a couple times? Like, this stuff is really good. What do you think? And it's like, oh. I just can't stand it when people go, sit go to down. a buffet and sit there and... I mean, Anthony and I, before we stopped eating those wings at Winn-Dixie, mm -hmm. we literally watched somebody go up there and like grabbing wings off the wing bar and eating them. Oh man, it always used to bug me. And then me. they're using their other hand to like put some into their bucket. Oh, and it's that's like, not good. It always bugged me when I worked at Aldi's. You'd have people like getting strawberries, getting blueberries. I mean, some stuff that was actually like weighed by the pound, grapes, and they're just eating it. And I'm like, that's, that's stealing. Because you're, I mean, first of all, it's gross and you haven't washed that. Like, I don't, I can't believe you're putting produce in your mouth that you haven't washed. Right. But like, you're eating it and it's measured out by the pound and you're just eating it. I just have an issue with it in the buffet bar. Oof. Okay. Nancy A. Ha. 
Now I need a three-wheeler bike for me and my dog. Yes. Oh my gosh. So my mom is loving that bike and I'm really proud of her because she's been babysitting grandkids during the week and she has actually still been budgeting time in order to um, ride her bike so that she makes sure she does it every day. So she drops the kids off at like certain times of the day back with mom so she can just go on a quick bike ride without leaving the kids. With their mom. Yeah, with their mom um, so that they can, she can go on a bike ride and then she goes and picks them up. It's awesome. It's, it's funny. It used to be before keto, I can honestly say, if I did any kind of exercise, I was tired out by the exercise. But have you found that you're almost energized by the exercise? I always have a ton of energy. I think that keto. is crazy to me because I almost feel like, all right, you know, it used to be like I exercised, I'm done for today. And now I don't feel that way. No. I mean, first of all, I've since starting keto, I always have a lot of energy. I mean, I've never been a huge sleeper, but definitely since starting keto, like I sleep less because I have so much energy. I feel like you're part vampire. Yeah. But we did get a new magnesium supplement we're going to start trying and we'll let you guys know how it goes. Yeah. It was like calm or something. Yeah. Okay, so Doll I wrote. Hi, Doll. Three wheel bicycles equals tricycle. This is true. It is a it is a giant baby bike, basically. <laughs> okay, Bookworm Sarah. Hi, Bookworm Sarah. Another great keto on the couch. I've been doing keto for six months and I've hit a rut. Okay. I'm trying to find some out of the box side dishes for my family. Myself, my two college age to age sons and teenage daughter eat keto for dinner, me all the time, and we are getting sick of the same old options. Do you have any suggestions for summer sides? The broccoli slaw. Yeah, check that out we make. check out um we have a broccoli slaw. That is really good. Um, I'm not sure what you're making, so I don't know like what are you bored of or what are you not bored of? Cauliflower, uh, uh, you can make, macaroni make and cheese. You can make a cauliflower macaroni and cheese, which I don't have a recipe on our website. I just, I, one of these days I'll do one. I, I have one that I make that I kind of throw together, but I've never actually written it down or but it's done a video on it. Really good. Um, make mashed cauliflower, which is super easy. Just take cauliflower, mash it up, and then you can put some sour cream in there, some cheese bacon in bits, there, bacon bits. Like loaded. Um, that if you're looking good. for regular meals, I mean, have you tried the, like, we have a recipe for like the crack slaw. Yes. Which is one of my favorite things. And super easy. It takes like 10 minutes to cook. It's a one pan dish. Ooh, the sweet potato side. Yeah, now that one is from Keto Connect. Yeah, if you, yes. if, you if anybody likes mashed sweet potatoes, like Thanksgiving sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. check out, they have a recipe for a sweet potato casserole made with canned pumpkin and... Um, cauliflower. It will turn your day around. You will, you will, I'm, we gave it to people. We actually brought it to somebody's wedding, right? They did like a potluck wedding. And it was gone. Everybody had to bring a dish and we brought that and it was like one of the first things gone. That was a brilliant wedding, by the that way. That was really a brilliant wedding. So they, yeah, like the bride wanted to not have to not invite anybody. Like she wanted everybody she, she she'd ever met. anybody. To, to be able to come. And so, you know, what is a big obstacle to having a food big bill. crowd is the food bill. So she just said, hey, instead of bringing me a present, bring a dish. And some people brought desserts and some people brought salads and some people bought awesome. sides and some people bought entrees. And it was the most delicious wedding with just a never ending buffet. Yep. It was awesome. That was really good. Yeah. So that's something. So if I mean, we had to get married again, I'd do that. I would do that. I'm going to encourage my children to get married like that. Potluck wedding. <laughs> um, what else though? I mean, it just depends on, are you looking for like sides or are you looking for like the main course? Yeah. You know, but there's a lot of different things. I mean, go check out Keto Connect's like website. They have tons of recipes. And good ones. And good ones too. So. Yeah. So. Shelly Long or Sherry. I don't know why I always say Shelly. Because you loved the show Cheers. I did. And Shelly Long. Yeah. Hi, Sherry. Sherry Long wrote, another great video. I went back and started watching some of your older videos and I found your Mitsu recipe. That's another good recipe. I made it to take to work this week and thank you. Uh, and, it, and it was so easy Sherry could do it. Oh, I love that. Meal prep has been a key to my success as I work 12-hour shifts at a jail wow. and the food they serve there is horrible. You guys rock. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for, like, 
watching our videos and for making the meals and stuff. And I love that meats is awesome because it's just so, so versatile. Easy. And again, it's another like I like anything I make where it's like one pan, one like, pan, yes. one pot. As a person who washes the dishes a lot, I enjoy when you make a one meal. You don't have to wash the dishes much either. Too. We make our kids wash the dishes. So I wash the dishes a lot. <laughs> That's how that works. Um, actually, one of the most recent pizzas that I made when like Terry and your mom was down right. um, was I put um, ba the basil pesto sauce, which was awesome. Right. Some sun dried tomatoes that were delicious, and some feta cheese. And it made kind of a Mediterranean pizza that was off the chain. Like, really good. Yeah, I tasted it. It was really good. I liked it. Something different. But, of course, that goes back to Rachel's life. What can I find and just throw it on here? I Which, don't know if it's going to taste good, but I'm going to experiment. I kind of knew can those we not flavors. experiment with Joe's recipes? I think, well, the meats have stayed the same. I do that. That, you're, that. But you're experimenting with the top. That, yeah, I'm that experimenting with the top. That could make or ruin my part of it. It was good. I didn't ruin it. It was awesome. Okay. Stefan Blake wrote, I'm hey, just Stephen. here for the iguanas. Don't mind me. <laughs> we were so surrounded by iguanas. I don't know why you have such an issue with iguanas. <sighs> They're terrible. And my mom, it like stays with a, a garden hose in her hand because she has a an iguana that loves her deck. And he comes back every single day to sun himself and hang out. And so mom goes and gets her garden hose and sprays him with a garden hose. And then he jumps off the deck into the canal and swims off. You know, there's people are starting to catch and cook them. We're not doing that. There was a great article about it. We should definitely do that. I think it it's is. It's like the South Florida chicken. Oh, no. I Speaking of chickens, you know what I'm doing tomorrow? <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to Red Barn to get chickens. I'm ready for chickens. Oh, Lord. I'm ready for chickens. Are you ready for day-old chickens? Why don't we just grab the ones that are in the street by our house? Hey, I figure everybody else in this neighborhood has just wild animals running around. I'm getting more chickens. I miss chickens. I, I saw a peacock this week. Yeah, we have we have a somebody in our neighborhood's got a peacock that runs around. Somebody's got just guinea pigs, but like lots of them yep. that roam free. There's a couple of houses that have chickens. By the way, we live in the suburbs. We don't live on a farm. We have burrowing owls. Yeah, burrowing owl, owls across the street. And what else do we have? Oh, we have the lady that's got like a hundred rabbits. Yes. So why not add some chickens? I'm gonna get chickens. I'm putting. I'm gonna raise them one day old chickens. They cost two dollars. We're getting some chickens tomorrow. <laughs> What's our next comment? Next comment. I do have a question about zip fizz and fasting. Do you use zip fizz during your fast? Uh, depends on our fast. Yeah. If we're just. We try not to use zip fizz like if we're doing an intermittent fast, but sometimes we do. Yeah. But, but there, remember, there are some calories in there. And two carbs. Not a few, and two carbs. So it will technically kick you out of your fast. Right. Um, you're going to get right back into it pretty quickly, but you are going to get kicked out of your fast. It's not the same as water and black coffee. Right. Uh, now, if we're doing an extended fast, like 36, 48, 72 hours, no, we won't use it. No. You know, just like... We'll usually use it like on a Sunday morning, even though we're not going to eat our first meal till three o'clock. Just to get us started and put a little pep in our step. Yeah. Uh-oh, my phone locked. It won't recognize my face. Welcome to the club, sir. Oh, there it goes. Ha huh? I just have to swipe up. Bambi Hamilton wrote. Hi, Bambi. Go, Rachel. I'm kind of, uh, I think these flavors would taste good together cooked too. High five. <laughs> yes. It it usually works out. Not always, but nothing wrong with trial and error. Amen, sister. Rachel's she she is pretty good at figuring like, you know, these lima beans will taste really good if I add this to it. Or like corn over ground beef over this is all pre-keto. Yeah, I was gonna okay. say, like I'm like, eating lima she beans. She would put things together that she was like, it sounds like it's gonna taste good. And I will be honest, it usually would taste good. If you can get past what it looked like. Yeah, it always looked like it dog food. It looked like food. vomit usually. It looked like dog food. Yeah. For sure. It tasted really good, but she didn't know how to like layer it or give, definitely didn't know how to give a good presentation. I was going to say, I'm not a presentation girl. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> but it tasted good. That That's what matters, right? That's exactly right. Tracy Robillard wrote, Hi, Tracy. It makes me smile seeing the way you two look at each other. It's Aww. so cute. 
I didn't look at you very fondly when we were doing the video where the coconut oil was completely liquefied because it's too hot in this it's house. It's not too hot in this house. I didn't have a very good doe eyes at you that day. <laughs> Katie Walters wrote, watch, Hi, Katie. watch out, Rachel. Joe is bringing out the inner chef in you. Yes. I love the recipe. And is this your plan? What? It's to make me do all the no, cooking? No, I definitely don't want you doing the cooking. Okay. She wrote, I love the recipe and happy you enjoyed making it. I seriously would have have to try it with the adjustments. The lower carb count is more attractive. Mm. But since I'm on the road back from work, I ordered smart cakes to take with me. Thanks for another great video. Those are just like I easy love smart grab cakes. and go I things. I really do. That's another thing. See, I mean, I could make cakes, but I, we still have smart cakes. It's pretty much the only dessert other than me getting bars that we order because they're just good. And especially when you the want something so like, low. you know, I can't make a mug cake for 39 calories. No. Not to taste good anyway. No, they taste delicious. They're just enough. They're the proper size. Yeah, sometimes um, when I'm wanting something sweet, you don't want me where I'm making a big batch of it. I want to just grab it and go because right. sometimes I can get into trouble when I get into the kitchen, right? Like I, especially, you know, um, this, like if it's a, a recipe that's got nuts in it, I'm playing one for the recipe and one for Rachel as I'm cooking. So right. sometimes, you know, the smart cakes are really good for me for dessert because it keeps me out of the kitchen. Right. Yeah. I like them. And I can't wait for the new flavor. It's supposed to be here in a couple of days. So. What's the new flavor? Orange cream. Mmm. So if you, if you haven't tried Smart Cakes, we do have a link down below in the description. And we also have a coupon code for it, which is, I believe it's two crazy ketos. And it gets you, I think it's 10% off. I don't remember. They're tasty though. Kelly Colvin wrote, Hi, I Kelly. agree with Rachel. It is way too hot if your coconut oil is melting. Thank you. I keep my house at 70 to 72 degrees during the day. Can, I would have to walk around with a sweater. Can I come live with you? Kelly, please. And I keep it at 68 at night. I do keep our bedroom at 68 at night. Okay, yeah. We have a separate air conditioner in the bedroom because the hot kids, flashes. The kids have 75 degrees at night. We have 68. I Especially lately, I have noticed I'm like freezing and then dying of heat stroke. Honestly, and then freezing we, we and can't then ever get our bedroom even to that. We set the temp temperature to 68, but it never really reaches it because there's no insulation over our bedroom ceiling. Good and, Lord. It's, and I can't get any in it there. It is hard being an aging woman. <laughs> You're like freezing or blistering hot. Well, she actually wrote, she's like, I keep my house at 70 to 72 during the day and 68 at night. My family understands, especially during a menopause crisis moment of hot flashes. Make mama happy for no drama. Yes. Yes. Happy wife, happy life. Right? Serious. More baby three wrote. Hey, more baby. I really enjoy you guys. It's hard do work doing keto for me, but the help of you guys and the, all of the info and recipes, I know I will exceed after a while. You will. I came over here from Watch Autumn Keto, and I love you both. God bless you and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. And oh my goodness, we love Watch Autumn Keto. Yes. I just have enjoyed her videos this week too. Jolie Dodge wrote, Hey Jolie. This upload wouldn't have anything to do with some prepackaged mug cake mixes that came in your keto boxes, would it? I promise we already had plans for we that video. We had already plans for that video. But it was like, it, it was conveniently happening at the same time. I yeah. will say that. I love the recipe though. I think it's going to be breakfast today. I wonder oh, yeah. if you could make a streusel topping with some more flax, monk fruit, butter oil, and cinnamon. Yes, Ooh. I have actually made that. You can use almond flour too. Mm. Almond flour with a little bit of butter. Okay. And some like monk fruit sweetener and stuff. And you crumple it up just like you would make a normal streusel. <gasps> that sounds really good. April Wooten wrote. Hi, April. I've had the Grapau granola in several flavors. Grapau. <laughs> I'm loving that name. Grapau. I just like I think you like it because it it kind of looks like a comic book thing. It does look like a comic book thing. Like a Batman and Batman. Robin. Well, that's the Batman. The real Batman. The Pow. one I grew up with, with Adam West. Bang. I love that. She said, they are all delicious. I keep them in my purse for busy days. I could not keep them in my purse because they would never. They wouldn't make it. They wouldn't last for any day because those are stinking delicious. Missy, ben, uh, Miss, good. Missy Bennett wrote, my Hi, daughter Missy. sent me a three-month subscription of Keto Crate for Mother's Day. That's it was a, nice, a great gift idea. I was going to say, is. that is nice. She said, I actually ate the Grapau while watching this video. It's uh, so yummy. It's good, right? Like, it's crazy, crazy good. It And actually, it was so good. I did reach out to the company, like, that night. Yeah. 
And I was like, this stuff is awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're sending us some. We're going to do a full review of it. And they have already given us a coupon code. Will you link because, that down like, below? Yeah, I will put it down below. It's two crazy ketos. It gets you 10% off. That is by and far the best granola type product like I've ever it's tasted. It's like a cross between a granola and, and a cookie. cookie. And I mean, it's supposed to be a cereal. So you can, you know. A like, cereal? Yes. It's supposed to be like a cereal, but you can eat it however you want. But I'm honestly want to try it as a cereal. Like I want to get some. And pour a little bit of milk over it. Yeah, because if you're like, I always liked like honey nut clusters of oats or whatever. And it, I can see it working like that. Now, the one thing I did notice on their website, because you notice the way it's all clumped together and it breaks apart. You need to eat it with a hammer. What's holding it together is coconut oil. Huh. And so because like it is summertime, it may come more broken up than it was originally intended. Well, but just, again, it's like a granola. I would break all it up more. Do, all you'd have to do, no, but if it comes like more melty. Oh, okay. Stick it in the refrigerator. Yeah. And then break it back up again. Yeah, to, so. to whatever your liking is. Sylvia wrote. Hi, Sylvia. Oh my God, Joe. Runny poopy problems. That is a slogan for a t-shirt. <laughs> Runny poopy problems. Hilarious. That Thanks for like the a, laugh and another great review. Sounds like a 90s band, right? That'd be a, that'd be a 90s band. Runny Poopy Problems, opening for Nirvana. Okay, so last question. All right. Oh my gosh, I think the dog just farted. Do you smell that? No, I'm not closer to the dog than you. Man, be my buffer. Tabitha, what are Protect you me. Protect me. <laughs> be okay. my shield. Currently picking the perfect name, wrote. Hi, currently. I'm going to ask, and I won't be offended if you don't tell me. For the openings of your videos, how are you two so in sync? How do you pull off the right after this so smoothly? I imagine that you practice it, but it's still so smooth. And a bunch of clapping hand emojis. I think a hundred years of being together, you just kind of... Yeah, we, we're we pretty together. in sync with each other. I think we kind of just know each other that well. But I'll tell you what, when we're not in sync and we mess it up, we're like two fighting toddlers. Yeah, now nine out of ten times we get it right the first time. You know, and that you know, when we first started though, like for example, like our whole intro part where we say like this is what we do on our channel, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The first couple of times we had to do that, like I really I thought one of us was going home. I was like, You're not back. my friend anymore. Yeah, we were we were like at each other's throats because we just couldn't get it right. Now like we never screw that part up. Yeah. But we screw other stuff up. Yeah, we screw other stuff up, but nine out of ten times we get like we're really in sync. We know when to, the other person is done without like practicing it or talking, but we don't really discuss what we're talking about ahead of time. Clearly. Yeah. Right. Well, it's just like like our kids. They've learned from being with us for so long. They they know when when mom's had it up to here. When mom's had it up to here, and when mom's had it up to here, yeah. then they know like when to when to make a move. Yeah, but nine out of ten times we get it right. But yeah, that one time that we're not getting it right, like that's pretty much where we're like one of us is threatening to I'm like no more you. two crazy ketos. No more for you. You're not my friend. You're not well, even my real mom. And I usually know when Rachel's done because she'll say something corny. Yeah. So that is this week's keto on the couch. Yay! Good job. Episode 15. Epis episode 15, and we're under an hour again. Two weeks in a row, we're under an hour. Explosion. <laughs> so if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, put them down in the comment section below, and we will answer them on the next Keto on the Couch. Yep. Also, if you have any questions for Watch Autumn Keto that we can... For the last week, yep. For the very so last cut down to Keto They'll see this on Monday, and then we'll have one more collaboration video with her. To wrap up our cut down to KetoCon. Wow, it is so if, coming so fast. Yeah, so if you have any questions, answer, ask them you know, down below and we'll pass them on to her. And we hope that you have an awesome week, yeah, P.S. So if you like what you saw, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.